Hello everyone. My name is Paroy and I'm the CEO at Parking Duck, a trusted peer-to-peer -peer online marketplace for sharing your parking space. People think parking is simple, right? You just drive from point A to point B and park. Except, there you go. So you drive from point A to point B and park. Except, everybody is doing the same thing at the same time and at the same place. There is not enough parking for everyone. But what if we could park at the building next door? What if we could park at the apartment or the homes next door? Maybe you could park further away and take the BTS to work and avoid traffic in general. And you know what? People are already renting out their parking spaces, but in an unsecured and unstructured way on web boards and blogs. With no further ado, let me introduce you to Parking Duck, Asia's peer to peer parking marketplace where we make host and drivers happy. When you log in, there's only two features. You either find parking or you list parking or rent out. When you find parking, it takes you to an interactive map with pins of where the parking spaces are with the price. OK, I like this parking lot. I want to book it. You click in, there's a profile. Pictures, price, everything's there, no surprises. We seek to take a 10% commission fee for every transaction, 6% on top from the driver, and we deduct 4% from the host before we pay to them. We come with a full team of two business developers, a programmer, and a great designer. Today, we're seeking an investment of $300,000. It's been revised based on an 18-month run rate, which would help us acquire 3,000 listings and and generate 10,000 transactions. 50% of the funds would be used on host or user acquisition, where the other 50 would be on the team to develop products and also corporate partnerships so we could have daily and hourly parking and not just monthly. Thank you for your time. Parking Duck, a trusted peer-to-peer -peer online marketplace. So uh, you're, I'm sure you're aware of the uh, similar products that are, that are uh, operating in San Francisco? Yes. Yeah. So how similar is your application to, to those um, applications? Um, to elaborate on that, in San Francisco, they allow, there's this app, it's called Monkey Parking, which allows the renting out of public spaces. We don't allow that. We would remove any listings in public spaces or in shared common spaces in a condominium. So you need to have rights to your space to be able to list on, on Parking Duck. This means that you have to contact with the condominium uh, owner to, and you contact for the jurisdiction or individual? So um, we provide the support as necessary, but usually hosts are already talking with the jurisdiction person and they just get the information from a website like the driver's license, car registration, and talk with the juristic person. They are very open to registering and giving stickers to uh, drivers outside the building. What are some of the existing um, uh, competitors uh, in the local market right now? Um, we are the first in Southeast Asia. Our competitors are indirect competitors. Uh, there are web boards and forums that people are currently trying to list or post their parking spaces. There's no relevant or a directed platform for parking. What's the biggest problem in making this model work? Um, trust. We need to create a lot of trust for the users and the drivers because it's not just a website. It actually encourages people to meet in person, to exchange. So we're doing everything to create that trust from handling the transactions online to validating the host with pictures, getting them signed up with uh, social profiles. Okay. And uh, are you mapping car parks while you're doing this as well? Um, we have plans to do that, but right now, um, all our efforts is to build a marketplace. It's building supply or host. How many buildings that uh, contact with you 
right um, now? We go by individual people. Currently, we have around 217 uh, hosts, and some hosts are renting more than one parking spaces. So you're live now? Uh, we just beta launch in December. Just beta launch in December. Yes. So, uh, and so um, how are you going to scale that? Um, so here's our marketing plan. We distributed flyers along the BTS lines because we wanted condos where it's easy for the drivers to just you know, take the train to work, avoid traffic. We're doing social media. We're on top of Google when you search um, teach a lot in Thai. Uh, we also did blogs and forums where people are, you know, I need parking here. And we're like, oh, yeah, we have parking. And business development where I go to events and just talk and pitch. Um, lots of questions, actually. How do you ensure that um, a, when a horse needs his lot, whoever he's listed out to uh, is not overparking there? Um, usually, we would prefer hosts who doesn't have a car, but they, for example, expats who come to Thailand and they don't have a car, but when they rent an apartment, you usually have a right to your parking spaces, and you can rent that out. So that's only one part of the market. The yes, other, most yes. people will have a car for a lot. Yes, but then um, what we're seeing is that a lot of hosts actually own multiple condos and they're rent already renting out the room and usually the person that rents the room doesn't need the parking and the host still have the, the rights for the parking space. No one's asking, I've got one more. Please. Uh, what's the potential size of the market just here in Bangkok alone? Um, one million car need parking every day. The average price they're paying is 80 baht per day. So it's an 80 million baht per day. And parking is something you need every day. When you work, you need on a monthly basis, a yearly for some people. So um, I estimated 7.6 for Southeast Asia, not just Bangkok. But. Yes, based on Thailand, Malaysia, and Indonesia, because parking is a problem across city in Southeast Asia, not just Bangkok. So, so is this on demand, or is it ongoing? Is it like you're leasing the space, or is it on demand, or both? Um, currently, it's just leasing the space on a monthly basis, so you might have to book in advance. And that's why we are spending part of our budget to talk to corporates, so we can do hourly and daily parking. Thank you very much. Thank you.